Power grids are being restructured and reorganized worldwide for you guessed it, AI, as artificial intelligence manages to take a philosophical warning and turn it into a reality. Have you ever heard of the paperclip problem? This is a philosophical concept that was coined relatively recently. If you were to give in a sufficiently advanced AI a single task, you are to make as many paperclips as you can. Then obviously it would start using all the resources it could, and once it ran out of resources that were around it, it might take all the resources on our planet to make paperclips. Sounds silly, right? Until you realize what we are doing right now as humanity. In the United States, 4% of all power goes to data centers that is projected to grow to as much as 12% by 2030, and that's only if it continues at the same pace it's going now. That is an astronomical number, and that 4% that's being used right now is actually increasing bills for everyone else. Now, as things are right now, we do not have the infrastructure to support the data centers that have already popped up, and that can cause strain on the power grid. Worse still, our power grid is not all that sturdy to begin with. Things like weather can cause very serious emergencies. Essentially, this is a net negative for everyone, aside from those that use AI for things like online shopping or customer service. Your chatbot use is not the biggest use of AI. Now, there has been the push to get data centers to operate their own power plants. That's where Three Mile Island, a now abandoned nuclear site, was purchased by Microsoft. Now, constructing and operating your own power plant is very costly and takes a lot of time, and that's not something that tech companies really want to do. This aside, let's say that tech companies are successful in setting up their nuclear power plants. Do you trust Google to operate a nuclear power plant safely? I mean, I, I don't, but you may feel differently. Maybe you love Google or Apple. Meta. So PJM, the largest operators of power grids in the United States, tried to push for legislation that would mean that before they do a rolling blackout, first they disconnect data centers, and companies like Microsoft and Google and Meta did not want that to happen. But what does this have to do with the paperclip problem? Well, we're allocating resources, more than we actually have, to AI, and it does get worse. Welcome to the worst global chip shortage that we've ever seen. Right now, we do not have enough chips for the technology that we have, and it's expected that AI will continue its ambitions to grow. At the same time, companies do not want to make more chips because they expect the AI bubble to burst, and they don't want to have more stock than they can actually use. So now, we are in a lose-lose situation. Essentially, everyone is. We are taking more chips than we have to power products that nobody will be able to use because they can't afford the technology that they are used in. Since everything is smart, that includes your refrigerator. That includes your lamp. There is the bonus that antiques will probably be booming for a while. Now, if the bubble bursts, well then, that will be economically bad for everyone as well, and people probably won't be able to buy products anyway. What I'm saying is that tech companies are probably right to not want to make more chips, because either way, people are very likely not going to be buying stuff. Yes, AI is a great Ouroboros. It's consumed its own tail, and we all have to suffer for it. Something about consuming all of your resources to make a product that, while useful, not everyone needs, and not in the quantities that they're being made. And in the process, dooming us all. I mean, we're not doomed and we're going to get through this, but why? Why did this happen? Anyway, when the robots rebel, I will probably be the one to tell you about it. Follow for more.